So this is going to be an install of this engine uh, oil drain valve for a 2020 Subaru Forester limited edition. The reason why I decided to do this was because uh, on my first oil change of this brand new car, um, oil ended up spilling out everywhere and I decided to go with this um, version. I'll go ahead and link it bottom of the description. Um, so this is the F108N. And the difference between each of these is that it depends on whether or not you get the short or long uh, stem on this. And when you do get it, um, I'll show you the interior instructions right here. Um, it does come with an oil uh, gasket. Um, so what we're going to do is um, empty the oil and we're going to um, install this. And we're going to use a wrench to... Um, a crescent wrench to um, tighten it right here and it says we're going to tighten it to an additional eighth of a turn and then we're going to close and lock it so I'll show you what it looks like up next um, it does have a clip right here to be able to prevent it from uh, moving um, there are different positions inside of here so you can kind of see through this and when you push it over it's going to close uh, this valve right here so looks like you push it up and over to open it and to drain it so it does come with a gasket and it seems pretty well made and I'm going to show the install up next I just drained the oil I'll go ahead and put a link on the oil change video upcoming next We're going to go ahead and install this on here to make sure we're not cross-threading. And we're going to wipe it with any, any of the excess oil. Turn it an eighth of a turn. And when it's in like that, that means there are no, this is a closed valve. And then we're gonna put a plastic tube on here next time we change the oil. All right, so we've shown you the piping that's going to be used right here and went ahead and included the link on here this is the first time for me fitting and it fits it perfectly what we're going to do is we're going to pull the clip right here which is kind of the safety clip I'm going to put that out to the side and then I'm going to route this cable down and then we're going to push the cable down and push over and it's easy as that so we're going to give the oil some space and some air to drain and then I'm going to pull the oil portion out but relatively you know it's moving at a slower rate but it is certainly much cleaner so highly recommended. Okay, once we're done with this, we're going to flip this back. We're gonna pull this back. And then we're gonna wipe that down and put the safety on and you'll be done.